What's up, you guys? It's Steve here. And Democrats in Congress are calling upon President Joe Biden to pass more executive orders and actions, 55 of them to be exact. And they're also calling upon him to pass more stimulus checks to help us kind of combat these increased gas prices. And this is your Build Back Better stimulus package and stimulus check update. Now, take a look, you guys. This has just been all unfolding in the past couple days with legislation languishing. They're unable to get anything passed through Congress right now. And midterms approaching. This is a midterm election year. Democratic lawmakers are pressuring Biden to issue executive orders saying, listen, we got to get something done if we want to stay in control and in power in Congress. Progressive Democrats set out a list of executive orders to push Biden's agenda. Congressional Progressive Caucus has urged Biden to bypass the legislative logjam and give Democrats a record to campaign on, saying, listen, if Americans are going to vote us back in control, we got to show them that we've done something. Now, how Biden and Democrats can stack up legislative wins before November. Right now, they're strategizing. What can we do to show some wins to get voters on our side? Well, a lot of people are saying do executive orders, executive actions, and pass stimulus checks. Let me know your thoughts. What if we coupled the two and there was executive orders and actions for fourth federal level stimulus checks? And a lot of people say, well, is this legal? Well, take a look at this, you guys. Just a couple years ago, back in 2020, August, President Donald Trump did an executive order for unemployment benefits, and this was the LWA, Lost Wages Assistance Program. Trump did $300 a week for unemployment benefits and extended them out for six weeks. And he did this through executive orders and the legal questions surrounding Trump's new executive orders. They asked, is this possible? Is this legal? And it said, Trump's actions appeared largely legal. They just didn't accomplish very much, which they're saying is the issue uh, with executive orders and actions for uh, money. The Congress holds the power of the purse. We need legislation to pass through more funds. However, the president can reallocate existing funds that have already been sent out but are unused. And that is exactly what former President Donald Trump did with the LWA program, reallocating existing FEMA funds to use for this LWA program. And people are saying, there's $800 billion of leftover stimulus provisions just sitting there from previous packages. President Joe Biden could easily grab that, reallocate it, and send out literally two stimulus checks, a fourth and a fifth of $1,400, because there's over $800 billion just sitting there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys, but I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as to what these articles are saying that have just been coming out lately about the president passing executive orders and actions per the request of progressive Democrats and also what they're going to be doing to strategize to make sure that they stay in power. And as I mentioned to you here on the channel, it's very likely as we get closer to those elections, we're going to hear a lot more about legislation, executive orders and actions and stimulus checks, which are also being called for in Congress right now as well. Also wanted to mention, thank you so much for all the support on the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. Going to be releasing more content on there for those interested in growing wealth, personal finance, house flipping. We've got the latest project underway. So keep an eye out on that channel for more content like that. But let's dive right in. And before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, smash that like button if you appreciate the updates. Helps out the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Best way to reach me directly. Don't fall for the scammers. I saw them on here yesterday uh, taking my picture and saying contact me on WhatsApp and leaving a random phone number. You guys, that's not me. Don't fall for that, okay? If you need to reach me directly, do it on Instagram. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these articles and get you caught up on the latest. All right, so link in the description below to this article that just recently came out that says how Biden and Democrats can stack up legislative wins before November. And yes, we're hearing they are strategizing because right now, uh, according to polls, it is not looking good for Democrats. It is looking like Republicans are going to take back control in Congress, likely the House and the Senate, because even though Democrats control everything, they do so only by the slimmest of margins. And right now, 
It's not looking good for them. Take a look, you guys. Democrats are increasingly at risk of losing control of Congress in the 2022 midterms. Public polls consistently find that Republicans have a solid lead in the generic vote for Congress and that the majority of voters disapprove of President Biden's job performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you approve of his performance? Do you think that he should get another term when we come to 2024? Should Democrats be in full control at past this year or should it flip to republicans let me know your thoughts down below now it says in light of the democrats declining ratings and their failed attempts at passing both the build back better agenda and voting rights legislation the party needs to show voters that they can deliver we're hearing they've got to get some wins on the board Positively, the president, vice president, the cabinet members, they have been traveling across the country to sell last year's bipartisan infrastructure bill to the American people. A laudable effort that should undergird an effective strategy for Democrats to begin regaining their position. So they're saying they need to emphasize what they've already done, but in addition to that, they need to get some more wins as well. Now, in order to protect against Republican insurgency in November, Democrats need to secure discrete legislative victories by coming together around a new, more practical domestic agenda that is focused on alleviating a few major problems facing everyday Americans. Put another way, the Democrats need to prove that they, the party, will unify control of Washington and can and should govern. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. They're saying they're going to be pushing for more legislation. And in addition to that, we're also hearing that whatever they can't get done, progressives are saying just pass executive orders. Take a look, you guys. Link in the description below. Progressive Democrats set out a list of executive orders to push Biden's agenda. And it says the left-wing Congressional Progressive Caucus, they unveiled its highly anticipated list of suggested executive orders on Thursday of last week, outlining a strategy for Joe Biden to advance Democratic policy priorities in the U.S., while much of his legislative agenda has stalled on Capitol Hill. And yes, they're talking about Build Back Better and that stimulus package as one of the main issues. That bill was $3.5 trillion. It's been cut down to below $2 trillion. Progressives wanted to see $6, $7, $10 trillion. They wanted to have monthly reoccurring checks, unemployment extensions, child tax credits, all of that has been cut out. We're going to be seeing what they pass through. And they're also saying, in addition to that, whatever you can get through, uh, we want you to pass executive orders and actions because we have already compromised on so much. The American people see it and we have got to get things through if we want to stay in power. And it says the move reflects pressure from the left of the Democratic Party to try to keep Biden pushing for ambitious programs of action despite setbacks as the November midterm elections are widely expected to favor a resurgence of the Republican Party. The list covers a wide range of progressive wish lists, including lowering health care costs, canceling federal student loan debt, and reducing America's dependence on fossil fuels. The agenda also also calls for raising wages by increasing the threshold to be eligible for overtime pay and reducing police violence by establishing national standards for law enforcement officers. Taken together, these actions will have an immediate and meaningful impact on people's lives, lowering costs and raising wages for workers to provide urgently needed economic relief, advancing racial and gender equity by investing in communities that have historically been neglected and delivering on our promises, said Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, chair of the CPC. The list was crafted in consultation with 98 members, and they are all pushing for this to get done. So you guys, uh, you heard the list. There is a ton of things that they're trying to push through. And also, right now, they have added to that they want to see stimulus checks. Now, we will see if this is going to be added to the list of executive orders and actions. But these are all things that are being pushed right now by the Democratic Party, not only to help, but also because they want to stay in power and they have got to get things done before those elections if they want to do so. So you guys, that is the latest. All of this has been coming out just in the past few days. There's been a lot of talks about executive orders and actions, stimulus checks, more legislation, getting it all done before those elections. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'm expecting that there's gonna be a whole lot more rolling out. I will keep you up to date here on the channel so you know what's going on. And I share with you all the sources, read directly from the articles so you can see it for yourself. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. As 
always, if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free, you can come join the Ram Fam. Just hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. And consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.